This book's called Dogger and it's written by Shirley Hughes. And it's all about a little boy who's got a special toy. Shall we have a look at the story? Once there was a soft brown toy called Dogger. One of his ears pointed upwards and the other flopped over. His fur, his fur was worn in places because he was quite old and he belonged to Dave. Dave was very fond of Dogger. He took him everywhere. Sometimes he gave him rides in a trolley. Sometimes he pulled him along on a lead and made a string like a real dog. And when it was cold, he wrapped him up in a bit of blanket. Now and again, Dave's mum said that Dogger was getting much too dirty and she showed Dave how to wash him in a bowl of soapy water. Then they hung him up by the tail in the washing line to dry. Just like that. Dave's baby brother Joe liked hard toys. He liked putting them in his mouth and biting on them because he was getting teeth. Dave's big sister Bella took several teddies to bed with her every night. She had to sleep right up against the wall to stop herself from falling out. But Dave liked only Dogger. One afternoon, Dave and Mum set out to collect Bella from school. Mum took Joe in the pushchair and Dave took Dogger. Next to the school gates where the mums waited was a playing field. Some men with ladders were putting up coloured flags. Mum said there was going to be a summer fair to get money to buy things for the school. And Dave pushed Dogger up against the railings to show him just what was going on. Can you see in the picture? There's Dave and there's Dogger. Just then the children started to come out of school and an ice cream van came around the corner playing a tune. Bella ran up to her with Bella ran up with her satchel flying. Mum, can I have an ice cream? Mum gave her the money for two cones. Joe didn't have a whole ice cream to himself because he was a bit too dribbly. On the way home, Dave walked behind the, beside the pushchair, giving Joe licks of his ice cream. And Joe kicked his feet about and shouted for more, more, more in between the licks. At tea time, Dave was rather quiet. In the bath, he was even quieter. At bedtime, he said, I want Dogger. But Dogger was nowhere to be found. How does he feel? How does he feel, do you think? He's lost his favourite friend. Mum looked under the bed. She looked behind the cupboard. She searched in the kitchen and under the stairs and Dave watched anxiously through the banisters and Joe watched through the bars of his cot. Bella joined in the look for Dogger. She turned out her own toy box just in case he was in there, but he wasn't. When Dad came home, he looked for Dogger too. He searched in the shed and down the garden path with a torch. They were all looking out the windows at him. But Dogger was quite lost. Dave was very sad when he went to bed and Bella kindly lent him one of her teddies to go to sleep with, but it was not the same as Dogger. And Dave kept waking up in the night missing him. The next day was Saturday and they all went to the school summer fair. The playing field was full of stalls and slideshows. Can you see? Which one's your favourite stall? There was a fancy dress parade. There was sports with an egg and spoon race. Can you see? A wheelbarrow race and a daddy's race. Bella was very good at races and she won the three-legged race with her friend Barbara. Wouldn't you like to go for a race? They asked Dave. But Dave didn't feel like racing. He was missing Dogger far too much. You see how sad he looks still?
Then another very exciting thing happened to Bella. She won first prize in a raffle. It was a huge yellow teddy bear wearing a beautiful silk blue bow. He was almost as big as Dave. Dave didn't like that teddy at all. At that moment, he didn't like Bella much either because she kept on winning things. He went off on his own to look at the stalls. One lady had a toy stall full of knitted ducks and cars and baby dolls and bonnets. And there, at the very back of the stall, behind a lot of other toys, was... Dogger! Can you see? Can you see him hiding in the toys? He was wearing a ticket saying 5p. That's quite a bit of money. There were a lot of people around the stall. Dave tried to explain to the lady that it was his dogger who had got lost and somehow been put on the store by mistake. But she wasn't listening. He looked in his pocket. He had 3p, but that wasn't enough. He has 3p, but the dogger is 5p. How much more does he need? He ran to find mum and dad to ask them to buy dogger back at once. Dave went everywhere in the crowd, but he couldn't see mum and dad. He thought he was going to cry. At last, he found Bella by the cakes. When she heard about Dogger, she and Dave ran back to the toy store as fast as they could. But something terrible had happened. Dogger had just been bought by a little girl. She was already walking off with him and Dave really began to cry. <gasps> He said. Bella ran after her and tried to explain that Dogger really belonged to Dave and could they please buy him back. But the little girl said no. She said that she had bought Dogger with her own money and she wanted him and she held on to him very tightly. Dave cried and cried and cried and the little girl started to cry too. But out of the corner of her eye, she caught the sight of Bella's big yellow teddy. She stopped crying and put out her hand to stroke his beautiful blue silk bow. Then Bella did something very kind. Would you swap this teddy for my brother's dog then? She asked. Right away, the little girl stopped crying and began to smile. She held out Dogger to Dave, took the big teddy instead and went off with him in her arms. And then Dave smiled too. He hugged Dogger and he hugged Bella round the waist. Thank you, Bella, thank you, he said. That night, Dave had Dogger in bed beside him. Bella was practicing somersaults. Shall you miss that big teddy, Dave asked her. No, said Bella. I didn't like him much anyway. It was too big and his eyes were too staring. Anyway, if I had another teddy in my bed, there wouldn't be any room for me. Can you imagine? I imagine that Dave slept really well that night having his best friend Dogger back with him. Night, night, Dave. Sleep well.